Okay, we have a dial that we can't plug back into our GE dryer because the knob is loose under the dial cover. All of these knobs simply come off by pulling them off. What we're going to try to do is fix this dryer simply and without ordering new parts. And the first thing we need to do before we do any more work to this is unplug the dryer. There are six screws holding on the backing plate to the dryer. We're going to remove them to get a better look at what's going on. Oh no. It is broken plastic. There are plastic clips on the back of the panel that all the switch Maybe. assemblies clip into. These clips can break over time. Since the clips are already broken to the point where they can't be used to clip into, I'm going to use zip ties, snake through the affected switch, and then drill holes into the remaining damaged clips to tie the switch and the panel together. Now that the switch is pressed up against the plastic panel, I can get the dial on and turn the switch. Before reassembling the backing plate, now is a good time to test the repair. Now that the switch is working again, we can reattach the backing plate. Before moving the dryer back into place, I like to use the opportunity to sweep up dryer lint hidden in the area. After that, we can move the dryer back into place, make sure all the switches all feel good, and that everything works. Thanks for watching, and enjoy.